Hello. Alright, I'm going to be teaching you Sweet Child of Mine. Just the intro, because that's all I was asked for. Well, maybe I'll, I'll show you the verse. It's really simple. Alright. Sorry for the poor lighting. But I'm, it's the best I got right now. Alright, so. What are you going to start with? Are you going to put your index finger on the 12th fret, the D string. And you're going to put your ring finger can't show you, on the 14th fret of the G string. And then put your pinky onto the 15th fret of the B string. And then you're going to play the 12th fret and the 15th, then the 14th. Then you're going to move your index finger to the 12th fret of the G string. So, so then you have this sound. Alright, so you got the 12th fret on the D, 15th on the B, 14th on the G, and then to the 12th on the G, but you use your index finger for that note, unless you feel more comfortable with anything else, but that's how I feel best. So you got And now, you're going to take your pinky, and you're basically just going to bar this, and, well, the whole time you just got a bar, really. So you're going to be hitting the 15th fret, the high E string. So you got... Then 15, but you're going to be using your pinky. So... Now you got... Then you're going to use this finger and just basically bar that. And you're going to play the 14th Whoops, wait, no, I got that wrong. The 14th on the G. So, you're gonna go. Then the 14th on the E. So you got. Then you go back to the 14th on the G again. With your ring finger. So, that's basically the first part. Now the second part is really the same exact thing just instead of starting on the 12 you're gonna start on the 14th which you could use oops, uh, you could use your ring finger to press it or your index finger and just slide it up there and make your hand look kind of funky like that so you got oh you have to repeat and then it's the exact same thing. So you got 12, 15, 14, 12, 15, 14, 14, 14, and then you have the 14 on the D. And you just play that riff again. And now you're gonna play the 12. You're just gonna move your index finger from here to here, or here to there, whichever you desired. The 12 on the G string. And it's gonna sound like this. Remember, you're always keeping the the 15, 14, 12, 15, 14, then 14, 14, all the same every time. And then you re just repeat that. And oh, oh, stupid me, forgot to mention um, that the song is in E flat, so. But I didn't tune to E flat, so I'm just teaching you it in E right now. If you want to tune to E flat, you'd get a chromatic tuner and just tune each one down. But I personally think this is better, just like this. If you want to play with the song, then you have to obviously tune down. So, yeah, you got this so far. And you just gotta work on your speed. And then, towards the end of it, right before the singing starts, you got the... And then you play this little riff, and you're gonna keep this, uh, your ring finger on the 14th fret of the G string, just like we started off with. And it's gonna sound like this. Well, well just to show you what part we're up to.
something like that. And so you're going to play the 12 on the E, 14th on the G, and 14th on the E, 14th on the G. So everything just is followed by the 14th on the G. Then 15 on the E, 14th on the G, 14th on the E, 14th on the G, 12 on the E, and 14th on the G. So, got 15, 14. Uh, I, I skipped something. Uh, I said 14, I, mean, I said 15, 14, 12, 14, 14, 14, 15, 14, 14, then 15, 14, 14, 14, 12, 14. I'm sorry, I'm really tired right now. Uh, I'll just repeat that whole part again. Uh, if you if you actually got understand all that, just fast forward. All right, so 15 on the B, 14 on the G, and 12 on the A, 14th on the G, 14th on the A, 14th on the G, 15th on the A, 14th on the G, 14th on the A, 14th on the G, 15th on the A, 14th on the G. 14th on the A, e, 14th on the G, and 12. And that's your whole intro. I explained that very thoroughly. Uh, if you didn't understand it, you're stupid. No, I'm, I'm kidding. That was terrible. Alright. Now, if you want to learn the verse, you gotta know your basic chords, open chords, like the D. I'm running out of time here. Uh, the D, which is an open D string, then you're gonna bar the G, the B, and the E with your index finger on the second fret. Then, I don't know which finger you want to use, I prefer to just use the uh, middle finger, and then you're gonna put your middle finger on the third fret of the B string, and you're gonna get this chord. Which is, she got a smile, and it seems to me. And then, you're gonna go to the open C chord, which is uh, third fret on the A string with your ring finger, second fret on the D string with your middle finger, open on the G, and first fret on the B string with your index finger, and then open on the E, and you're gonna get this chord. So now you have she got a smile that it seems to me reminds me of childhood. Now you're gonna go to the open G chord, which is this one's all the strings pretty much. Uh, third fret on the A, you're gonna mute the A with your index finger, and then uh, you're gonna play an open D, an open G, and then your ring finger is gonna be on the third fret of the B string, and then your pinky finger is gonna be on the third fret of the G string. And you go back to D. That's the whole verse. And then, sweet child of mine part is A, G, D, A, G, and then back to D. I'm sorry, I taught that part really terrible before. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope I helped you out there at least a little. Um, I'm gonna post the tab in the side link for you, so you could look along with that. That's what I learned it from. Thank you for uh, commenting me and everything.